Hi guys. In this video, we will show you how to fix the Ethernet problems on Windows 10. Method 1. Check that the connection is enabled. Open Control Panel. Select Network and Internet. Select Network and Sharing Center. Click Change Adapter Settings. Right-click on your Ethernet connection and select Enable. Method 2. Check the cable. In the Network Connections window, once the Ethernet connection is enabled, you can also check its status. As you can see in the image above, the status of this connection says Network Cable Unplugged. This means that the network card cannot identify if a cable is connected to it. Cables can deteriorate in time or from improper handling. If your Ethernet adapter still shows the network cable as unplugged try switching to a different cable. Check that one end of the network cable is connected to the Ethernet port on your machine, and that the other end is connected to the network. Router, switch, or modem. Method 3. Check your connection details. Right-click on the Ethernet connection and selecting Properties. In the Ethernet Properties window double-click on the Internet Protocol version 4 option. This is where you can enter the correct details for your connection. In most cases, all you have to do is to enable obtain an IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically but there are situations where you have to manually input the details. Mether 4. Run the Internet Connection Troubleshooter. Go to Start and type Settings. Go to Update and Security and select Troubleshooter. Select and launch the Internet Connection Troubleshooter. Check if your Ethernet connection is now available. If this is not the case, restart your computer and test again. Method 5. Turn off your antivirus and firewall. Go to Start and Launch Windows Firewall. On the left side panel, select Turn Windows Firewall on and off. Check the two options that allow you to disable the firewall. Check your Ethernet connection again. Method 6. Update the Network Card Driver. The connection problem can be caused by faulty network drivers. To fix the problem, you can try to update the drivers. If you don't have the time, patience or computer skills to update the drivers manually, you can do it automatically with Driver Easy. Important, if you can't have access to Internet due to network driver issues, you can use Driver Easy offline scan feature to download and install a new network driver easily. Driver Easy will automatically recognize your system and find the correct drivers for it. You don't need to know exactly what system your computer is running. You don't need to risk downloading and installing the wrong driver. And you don't need to worry about making a mistake when installing 